Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. On today's topic, I'm going to tell you guys how to complete your monitor. Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. On today's topic, I'm going to tell you guys how to complete your readiness monitor for your vehicle. If you recently disconnected your battery terminal or you erased an engine code and now your monitors are showing not ready or incomplete, I'm going to show you guys step by step how to complete your monitor. So what is the purpose of having these monitors for your vehicle? And the purpose of having this monitor is to conduct a self-check of these various systems and engine problems or faulty sensor that may affect emissions. If you have an issue with one of the system, for example, if you have a failing EGR or you have a small or large leak in the EVAP system or you have a faulty fuel system caused by probably a faulty fuel injector that may cause an engine misfire or you have faulty oxygen sensor that's triggering oxygen sensor codes. If you have these issues, they must be fixed. Otherwise, your monitors may never complete. The criteria to complete your monitor will vary between manufacturer. But here are the basic steps. First, make sure there is no check engine light. Next, fill up your gas tank between a quarter to three quarters of a tank. Never fill up to full. And next, warm up your vehicle. In order for the monitors to complete, it must go through five different criteria. Number one, it must go through different drive patterns and engine load. Number two, it must see different speed. Number three, it must go through different warm up and cooling cycles. Number four, it must meet the minimum mileage. And number five, they want to see different engine temperature. To satisfy the first criteria, drive pattern and engine load. This one is very simple. All you have to do is take your vehicle out for a drive in the city and highway. Make sure to accelerate and decelerate. Make sure to drive up the hill and down the hill. And make sure when you're driving, step on the gas pedal a few times to increase engine load. If you're driving in the city, drive between 35 miles to 40 miles per hour. And you're driving on the highway, drive between 60 to 70 miles per hour. To satisfy the next criteria, which is warm up and cooling cycle, this one's very simple. All you have to do is take your vehicle out for a drive, bring it back, turn the engine off, let it cool for a few hours, then start the engine again, and go for a drive again. The next criteria is mileage. You must drive at least 30 miles or more. The next criteria is engine temperature. Your engine must reach operating temperature. If your engine never reaches operating temperature because you have a faulty thermostat that is stuck open, your monitors may never complete. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.